Okay, so today we're going to show the difference between a high-end UPS output when utility power is lost and a low-end UPS uh, when utility power is lost. And we're using a full-color screen oscilloscope since in a previous video somebody complained that they could barely see the sine wave output. Um, so first, you can see right here we have a nice flat line because my probes aren't connected to anything. Uh, as far as being able to measure the AC current, I'm using what's called an active differential probe with my oscilloscope so I don't fry the oscilloscope. I'm using a universal plug adapter on these two UPS units because I can't fit my probes into a standard NEMA 5-15R receptacle. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and test just what happens on a low-end UPS when there is utility power. And so you see here, we have a pure sine wave. So we're going to go ahead. This is what's happening. Uh, the low end UPS is bypassing power uh, right from the utility power to the probe or attached load. When we go ahead and switch from utility power to just the backup batteries inside the low end UPS, uh, let me show you what happens. If you can see, we lost that pure sine wave, and we're getting what looks like a square wave on the actual oscilloscope. So this is not utility power, this is a square wave. Um, if we go ahead and switch back on utility power, it takes a few seconds, and it switches back to pure sine wave. Uh, which means we're back on utility power. Now, if your uh, attached device, mass spectrometer or whatever it is, if it's sensitive, that may damage the device that the low-end UPS is attached to. Uh, it also might not have a power outage. You'll never know that the low-end UPS isn't working. Now, we'll go ahead and test the high-end UPS. All right, once again, we're on utility power and you can see a pure sine wave output on the high-end UPS and we're going to go ahead and simulate a power failure. If you can see there, we have a crisp, clean, pure sine wave output. It's as if utility power was never lost. The attached device or sensitive equipment we'll see absolutely no difference, no delay, no disruption, no change at all when power is lost and plugged into a high-end UPS. In this case, uh, we're using what's called a double conversion UPS with pure sine wave output. Uh, so there's no switching or delay time at all. You wouldn't be able to see the switching or delay time in this video anyway on the, on the low-end UPS because it's a matter of 10 milliseconds. Uh, and that, that delay happens on this one, but there is no delay on this one. Anyway, that's what happens when power fails uh, and the difference between a low-end UPS and a high-end UPS when power actually goes out. And there you go, we're back on utility power. That's it, thanks for watching.